Bert Rattler and Little Club. Fine young man and Joe Big Club from the SRC. Strange Owl from Northern Cheyenne. The Cinnaboyne Boy from the Grove Bond. Ride to Black Horse, Nakota Cinnaboyne. Bitterroot Jim. Flathead. Deer Nose from the Crow. Foolish Woman from the Madland. Drags Wolf, Hadassah. James Eagle, a Rick a Rock. Tom Whitehorse, a Rapper. Dick Washington, Shoshone. If you are descendants, please stand up. We would like to hear from you. So if you'd like to come up and say a word, this is a time to come up and say something. We would certainly appreciate to hear something from each one of you. My name is Rose Mountain Tree Vandenberg, and my Indian name is Mutsuspeak Mosaki. My grandfather was Bright Mountain Chief Big Brave, known as Minastico, the last hereditary chief of the Blackfeet, and I am the last living granddaughter of Mountain Chief that's living. And I'd just like to say I'm very proud and honored to be here to represent my grandfather who passed on in 1943 at the age of 93. And Mountain Chief is my great grandfather on both sides of my family. So when I do presentations, I drive everybody crazy because I tell them I am my, I'm my own cousin because of those six wives. I am proud to come back here and I am proud of my Indian heritage and I am proud of this reservation. No matter what kind of political problems we have, I am proud of the people, and I thank each and every one of you that I've got to know. Betty Cooper is another one that taught me about my heritage and my background so that I can teach others. My name is Marty Martin. My grandfather gave me the name to wear a sleeping wolf a year before he died. And I was a teacher in Hart Butte for 15 years. Thank you. Gloria Wilkinson, and I've been living in Browning now for maybe 12, uh, 11, 12 years. And I'm a descendant of a foolish woman, one of the signers uh, in 1930. And uh, when I first came here, one of the things that happened was that um, uh, someone had told me that um, uh, your people were here in 1930, and they showed me that uh, that movie of the signers, and there was my grandfather, a uh, foolish woman. My name is uh, Kitty Bocat. I'm the fifth generation of Mountain Chief. You know, it's really neat watching him do those sign language. My uncle Jimmy used to try to teach me how to do sign languages, and he'd tell me stories about my great great grandfather and you know it's really something that this has taken place I'm uh, Patty Oscar Welch and I'm a uh, descendant or I'm, I'm, I'm John Running Fisher's granddaughter and I'd like to introduce my family we've all we were raised by my grandfather and he taught us Indian Sign Language and we want to try to preserve that as much as we can and you know we, we're these, these folks want us to make a CD, so we're going to try to get together and uh, get a CD made for everybody, nationwide, hopefully, so we can restore and keep our sign language uh, going. Hello, everyone. Hello, my people. Blackfeet people. I will give you a little story of part of my history my heritage in sign language. I was raised uh, out there on two medicine uh, by my grandfather. The old man, Ronnie Fisher. Ronnie Fisher. Um, I moved with him when I was eight years old. He raised, I lived with him, even my brother's here. My two brothers here. 
and he began to teach me about making signs. At first, I didn't, I didn't know what he was saying, but my two big brothers here kind of helped me along until I began to catch on. After that, I began to visit with him and communicate with him. And of course, like anybody else, we all laugh, you know, because that's how we are. I, uh, I, was, I, I lived with my grandfather for, since I was 21 years old. Then I went off to school, way off to high school and the junior college. And uh, I was there for two years going to school. And I got my degree. And then I moved back home. And I got back home, my, my grandfather, he was sick, he was getting old. And he'd always tell me to be strong and to teach, to know. All your relatives and all your people here on the reservation. And I hung on to that. And what he had taught me, he taught me how to ride, break horses. And to be a horseman, he taught me to, to respect all my people. Uh, he taught me to, re, to respect myself, to dress nice, to look nice. And to always shake hands with anyone that I met, whether I knew him or not. I, uh, I really love my grandfather. To this day, I still love him. My heart's with him up there. And I know one day he'll come back to see us, see all of my family. And I know that he'll really be proud of us. And we'll all be happy. Um, I just want to, I want to thank all the people here that made it possible for this conference. Um, I didn't get a chance earlier to thank all the people from different tribes to come on and talk with us and to share with us. And uh, I want to thank all of you for this meal that we ate. Good meat, boiling meat, um, bread, coffee. And I got Thank you. My name is Winslow Evans, and uh, like Bill was saying, there's all raised up south on the ranch. Uh, I taught uh, some of the sign language in the school system, uh, like Lori Wilkinson, uh, she, I worked with her a little bit, she was my supervisor. But uh, <clears throat> I taught the children, and they, uh, in three weeks we put a story together, we had talked about the 1964 flood. We did it in front of the school board, and uh, it, it really turned out nice. Uh, we had one person, one of my friends, uh, he's not here right now, I won't see him, uh, Arthur Westerwood. He speaks full of Blackfeet. And <clears throat> I did the sign language, and he, he spoke uh, Blackfeet, and we had a lady speak in English. But we're working on these, we're uh, American Sign Language. So it's essentially the white sign language. It's all Lynn's fault because 25 years ago he was an interpreter at a hospital in Flagstaff and there was a Navajo family, the Dene family, that came in with uh, diabetes. And the sign language was not American, it was Navajo, Dene sign language. So we have been, for 25 years, uh, you quickly realized that this area here in the plains was unparalleled. So we're here, we can do, uh, to make a long story short, we've written, there's books written about this. It's unparalleled in the world. No other situation like this has ever existed. Where so many people use sign language as Olivia Franco. And there's many people keeping it alive today from, uh, from many directions. Lanny, Real Bird, Mary Ellen Mustache. How was the food tonight? Very elegant, your mustache, green, from Earl, to there's so many people to thank. But we're here, I have my card if you'd like more information. We have a website. We also uh, have many people with friends to thank, friends of the museum, the planes, and we have websites.